Okay, last map of the first episode is Phobos Anomaly, and we're going to kick some ass right now. Now let's actually blow up these barrels. For some reason we can't blow them all up, I don't know, but it doesn't really matter. But um, yeah, this is actually my second time trying this segment because for some reason I got, uh, I fired a missile, but for some reason it didn't blow up any barrels and then the demons just kind of started running through the gaping hole that I made between the two barrels and they kind of just over ran over the top of me and killed me. So I kind of got pissed off by that and instead I decided basically, fuck it, I need to actually learn how to aim. <sighs> Bloody hell, but it doesn't really matter. But anyways, uh, since this is a bit of a short level, I was actually considering uh, if I really wanted to keep this to its own uh, segment, I decided I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to start off episode 2 in this segment as well. It would be it would kind of fit to do this uh, level in its own individual segment since it is the last level of an episode, but eh. The likelihood is that I'm going to end up doing three levels in these last two segments regardless of what regardless of the order, so I might as well get these two shorter ones over and done with. And you know what? It sucks to be that guy over there, because there's a whole bunch of barrels, but yeah, it's not going to be a good, it's not going to be very good getting him out of there. I mean, is he even still alive? Nah, he's dead. Oh, that sucks. Anyways, bosses, Baron of Hell, and... I thought I took care of all these frickin' vectors. Great. I suppose I might as well keep that one alive since he's... Okay, you know what, I'll keep, I'll keep all of them alive. Hang on. Okay, now they're fucked. Alright. Like I said in the previous segment, this boss fight is actually not that hard at all because all you have to do is aim for the head. And it, you should be able to finish him off relatively quickly. If memory serves me correctly, it actually can you actually can uh, one-shot a uh, Baron of Hell by shooting them in the head with a uh, super shotgun. I'll have to try testing that out once I get to round of doing Doom 2. But yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot of rounds to kill them if you're shooting them directly in the head. So yeah, that's that's the entire first episode done and dusted. And I have to stop myself from saying done and dusted a lot of times because yeah. Anyways, uh those shells were incredibly pointless to collect because once we are done with this episode, we cannot take any of our guns into the second episode. We'll be just be stuck with this thing with a full clip and two spare clips. So Let's just shoot ourselves up, because once our health below, drops below 10 HP, the level automatically ends. It's another weird thing about this, uh... Okay, random lag. Uh, that's another weird thing about this game, that they just make these rooms where you basically just take damage. And for some reason, it also kills off any god mode power-ups that you have. Like, if you have invulnerability or god mode or something like that, it actually auto-kills it. And then starts taking, starts dishing out damage to you, then, yeah, once that's sort of done, it does that. But anyways, uh, beat the first episode, you get this, and it just tells you, like, you've teleported onto the other moon base on Deimos, which is the setting for a Shores of Hell, which we're going to start on right now. Anyways, uh, kind of sucks how we can't keep out all of our weapons, but oh well. Not like we're really going to give two knobs a go shit about it because we're going to get most of our weapons back anyway. The shotgun is in this in this, in this level. I don't think the chain gun is though, and I don't think the rocket launcher is either. But we are going to get a new weapon in this in, in this segment, so we're not going to complain too much about it. And I uh, obviously I have to bring attention to this. Yeah, for some reason, if you stay in between that, you start taking damage. I have no idea why. But anyways, uh, we should also be meeting some new enemies in this in this level as well being the first level of the uh, part of the game which you actually have to buy, of course it's going to have a whole bunch of new shit in it. And, okay, so let's just, yeah, get rid of you. 
Uh, no, we want to grab this. Yeah. Wait. Okay, so for some reason that one doesn't want to drop, and neither does that. Okay, no, wait, that did. Yeah, you stand on these, for some reason they just start to drop. And we flip this switch, and there's another switch on the back which reveals this, and takes us to the red key, which is entirely pointless for this, uh, for this level. It only take, I believe it takes us to a mega armor and a computer area map. Like I said, this actually comes back to what I said about computer area maps. They are kind of useless in certain areas because there was one in the uh, previous level and then there's one in this level which leads to absolutely no nothing. And here we have a Cacodemon, which dies very, very easily. It's shotgun blasts. Yeah, I think they made this thing... Uh, like, it's still as powerful as ever when it shoots its uh, shots and bites the shit out of you. But, uh... I think its endurance has been, like, cut in half or something like that because it cannot take a whole lot of shots. But anyways, uh, Plasma Rifle, 50 rounds to a clip, and aside from that, the uh, usual maximum carry ability is the same, 300 without a backpack, 600 with a backpack, and someone is playing incredibly loud music over somewhere else, but it's probably never going to get picked up because... That's incredibly soft, and this microphone is hella insensitive. Like, I have to go through, like, I, have to, I actually have to go into post and increase the, uh, volume of the recorded, of the, of the, uh, voice audio recording, just so that I could actually, just so that it's actually somewhat clear over the, uh, top of my, um, over the top of the game audio. Okay, let's do that. Oh god, no, damn it, damn it, oh god damn it, really? Oh, life itself, and I can't get back in there now. Yeah, that kind of pisses me off, there's a couple of, there's a whole bunch of things in there that I can get, except I think it was just a whole bunch of health power-ups, so I guess we can live without it. I never said this is a complete 100% playthrough after all. Anyways, uh, red key, like I said, serves hardly any purpose. It just leads us to this, with a whole bunch of enemies and, and the like. Uh, okay, that's not actually... Okay, okay. Yeah, for some reason, blood hurts you. I don't know why. Maybe it's, like, incredibly overheated blood, or maybe it's, like, some other kind of lava just with a different colour because of the, the room that it's in. It's a shame that I could, can't, didn't get a uh, demon strength room, because I would like to show off an execution of one of these guys. Or even an execution of a Baron of Hell. Baron of Hell execution is probably my favourite execution of them all. Like, not just when you're executing the Baron, but it's also all, but it's also actually kind of awesome to see the Baron execute you. So, uh, yeah, that is two levels done in this segment. So, I'd say we're about done and dust for a segment here. So, next time we are going to go for the second map of this incredibly weird looking moon base so see you for that